Um, talking about feedback, uh, how much feedback did you get from the recent prototype and was it of good quality, was it of bad quality? Did the community help or did it even slow down the, the whole process of, of finding ideas and, and uh, discussing the prototype? Can you give some information on what you received so okay. far? Um, for the whole project we have set up like, I don't know, tons of channels where you can collect feedback. We have one of the most important, of course, are our user surveys, where we uh, conducted two big user surveys and collected like half a million of responses, okay. which is a huge user base, uh, of course, which enabled this uh, opportunity to have that many feedback channels. And we have our user experience discussion mailing lists, which are pretty important and also uh, really helpful in discussing discussing proposals and solutions, but uh, uh, that's not the, the not the restriction where we like concentrate on one channel or the other. We have now the opportunity to set up maybe different channels with some sort of customers and organizations and governments where we okay. want to collect feedback from different contexts because they are also like some sort of part of the community yes. or users and overall we consider uh, not, not the, like, the positive or negative type of feedback uh, what we actually really prefer is uh, some sort of critical feedback which where, where people take the time uh, to consume what we give out have a look at it and just you know talk about that and this is what we experienced lately on the mailing list people like uh, said okay now I had the time to have a look at your prototype and these are my comments. This is what I think uh, mm -hmm. should be improved a lot, which is uh, super feedback. And this the things I really like and or I don't like and this sort. And since the community is so big, we have a diversity of a huge diversity of feedback. And of course, you have to learn how to deal with negatives and positives yeah. and some sort of. All kinds of feedback but that's okay. okay I mean we are in, in the open and we appreciate the diversity and this is the important feedback if we have an idea or a proposal we discuss it on a list and collect feedback from different channels and that really helps us to learn what is important to the community what is important to users in different contexts and how we can improve our prototypes our products so overall we have many channels where we collect feedback blogs are just one channel and mailing lists and user surveys and governments and enterprises and all the stuff where we can uh, collect feedback from. So it's it's a gold mine, uh, yeah. which is important for user experience, just you know, to, to improve the quality of the product. So I see there's a strong demand yeah. for feedback from various groups of people, not only techies, so to say, but casual users from from governments and uh, various areas giving uh, constructive feedback on the. Uh, the prototypes. Um, how kind of feedback and all the work you seem to, to put into it? Why don't you just improve the existing so-called classical UI? Is this an option or why why are you going through all these hassles and getting feedback and uh, dealing with prototypes? So is there a reason why you don't just improve the existing one? Sure, of, of course, but uh, my personal uh, <coughs> answer would be, be uh, also we are in, a, in the open, it does not mean we would not want to innovate. But this is a different story. Uh, um, basically, our idea is about the current UI is that it's in the current context. Uh, it's by having that many features, commands, and uh, functionality, which is already in the in, in the product. The uh, design space is really limited for okay. the current uh, for a current UI. But that does not mean uh, there's no, no no space for improvement. And this is actually what we plan. For, okay. for the next steps, we want to take the opportunity, look at the current UI and improve as much as possible to just make it slick, to improve the usability, to, to some sort of to fight the current UI problems, yes. which would uh, uh, give us in a later, at a later stage more room for individual solutions for an individual UI. And just by by solving the problems we currently have all over the UI uh, would give us a, a lot of de more design space to come up with a more appropriate UI design. Okay, um, UI design. Looking at the sketch, um, you're going illustrated the toolbars. 
and um, we're talking about uh, vertical space to use. Now, if I look at this one, this is a rather large one, and I'm looking at uh, current displays people have on their machines, um, they are mostly widescreen displays. Um, is there an option, is there a specific reason why you don't just take advantage of the, of the larger screen in, in a horizontal space and just put new elements on, on the toolbar in that area? Is this an option, or do you have any, any ideas on that one? Yeah, it's, in, it's overall it's an interesting issue why uh, uh, people are asking for that particular solution and uh, I guess two, two important things in prototyping, uh, you, you just have to know that you should not uh, start prototyping with a particular solution in mind. Okay. But that this is one story with this more or less methodological. The other one, we had three weeks time, we had limited resources mm -hmm. and we, we've been thinking, okay, what is the best opportunity to learn as much as possible about particular design ideas? And we considered uh, all office applications or other, also other applications which are currently available. And uh, if you look at, at IBM Symphony, for instance, they have that. Uh, if you look at K-Office, uh, if you look at uh, Apple iWork or even Microsoft Office uh, 2008 for Mac, you have that, you have a vertical, and partially there are implementations of, of uh, vertical UIs. This is something we can just take and test it or evaluate it for our purposes. Uh, that, that's not a discussion if it's good or bad, if you don't want to do it in a prototype, it's just a matter of which story you want to tell okay. uh, in the prototype and how you can learn most. So it was just a basic decision what should we do to learn a lot about okay. a possible UI solution? So we decided, okay, everything which is related to a vertical UI, we can learn somewhere else. And anything else which is interesting and maybe even controversial, we want a prototype to, just to try it out and get the feedback. And that's basically it.